Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Eat The Blocks. And in this video, we're gonna start a series about Ethereum token. So we're gonna talk of EAS20, EAS721, but also more exotic tokens such as EAS1155 and EAS777. So first, what is a token? So a token is an Ethereum smart contract that represent an asset or a service. So this asset can be in real life or an asset that is inside the blockchain. So tokens started to be really used during the ICO era in 2017. And after they started also to be used by games to represent CryptoKitties, to represent uh, collectibles, such as the game CryptoKitties with ERC721 and more recently in the world of decentralized finance or just DeFi, there was even more innovation with tokens and even more kind of token were created. So a question that happens often with tokens is how can they represent any value because this is just a sort of virtual coin inside the Ethereum blockchain. So the typical way to give them value is by adding a collateral. So what you can do is send some ether to the token that represent your, to the smart contract that represent your token and that well, it will give it some value. You can also send some other token as a collateral. One problem that quickly came with tokens is how you can exchange them because if we start to use token very quickly, people will want to sell and buy them. And if there is no standards and everybody just does their own token, then it's gonna be a total mess and exchanges will have no idea how they can deal with them. So that's why we started to create ERCs. So ERCs are a specification mechanism that stands for Ethereum request for comments. And so the life of an ERC starts in a GitHub repo. So everybody can create a discussion there. And if you have your own ID for a token standard, you just go there and you there is certain, uh, certain uh, template and format to follow. And basically you describe what's your use case and interested people can participate in the conversation. And so you will basically uh, write the specification and especially the interface of your smart contract. So not the implementation, but just the interface, which means the function signature of your Solidity smart contract. And once you start to gain enough traction, then it can become an EIP, so an Ethereum improvement proposal. So it starts to become uh, more official. So you can see EIP on an other website. So EIP are grouped by category depending on their progress uh, in the whole process. So there are just some EIP that are just uh, in a discussion, uh, some other that are a little bit more advanced and at the end they are approved. So there are a lot of EIPs. So if you uh, just want to, uh, to, to know the most important one, then you can filter and uh, see the, the approved EIPs. In general, once the EIP has matured, it will have an official implementation, usually in Solidity. So if you want to use this token for your project, you should absolutely use the official implementation. It can be a bit difficult to navigate across all these token standards. So I actually prepared a summary of all of this in a token cheat sheet where I basically list the most important tokens, what they do, and what are their main functions. So if you wanna have a very quick and easy way to understand the whole thing, then you can just get your hand on this cheat sheet. It's free. You just follow the link in the description. That's it for this video. I'll see you for the next video on ERC20. Bye-bye.